Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, I'm going to show you on any PC or laptop how to recover deleted files. Now, please note that this will work best on a dedicated drive such as a flash drive or micro SD card. Could also work on a hard drive if it's a case where you have deleted files on a hard drive. It would be best if you separated that hard drive from its main computer and then attach it as a USB device and attempt recovery. Now in the cases where you want to recover something, let's say a file was deleted from your PC or from your flash drive or from your SD card, make sure that you stop using the PC. Do not delete any other file or create any other file in that stuff can overwrite the deleted file. So as soon as you realize that you have a file missing, go ahead and stop and of course go straight into recovery. Now the software we're going to use is a free software that's called Recover. You can see it right here, the icon is on the desktop. It's called RECUVA and it's shown as a hard hat and a hard drive. Now Recover is free, of course, and you can find it online. Now of course I download from this website over here, which is called um, File Hippo. Um, but of course you don't have to use my, this site here. I do not own the site, I've been using it. It's a freeware website. It's called FileHippo.com. And of course, you can search for the recover um, software. Um, you can independently search for the recover software as well. Uh, and you can download it from other sources. I'm not telling you to use this source just in case you don't want to use my source. Now, of course, once I'm here, I hit download and then I install. And of course, you can see the installer right here. Now, for this case, I'll be using my um, SD card, which is right here. And I'm going to connect this to the PC. And of course, we're going to see what's on it. And we're going to run a little test to see what we can actually recover using the recovery software. All right, guys. So as you can see here, this is the um, drive. Notice it shows up as um, drive D. And down here, you can see it's attached. Now, of course, I'm going to go back here. Let's open up and see what it is. It's almost 4 gigabytes in capacity. If I open this up, you'll notice there is these um, CRDV files. Now, these are my dashboard um, cam files which is used for the cars dash cam if you have seen in my previous videos you'll see that dash cam and of course we're going to see if we can recover anything else from this flash drive that might have been deleted before i use this to record stuff now of course as i said before it's best to use as an external drive drive d so there we go so what i'm going to minimize and of course from here i'm going to go to the recover software All right, so here we go. It does say recover once all our changes to your computer. Go ahead and hit yes. Forgive me, the computer is a bit um, slow. It does take a little time. From here, we're going to hit um, next. We're going to use the wizard. Uh, see what you want to uh, recover. Do you want to recover pictures, music, documents, videos, and so on? I'm just going to set to all files, anything I can find. Um, it asks you where, where the file is located. Now, from here, it will be smart to select and specify. So, see if it was your main hard drive, which would be this computer, or I can simply browse. And here we go. And I'll look for um, the USB drive D. Just in case you forget what USB drive D is, it's basically this drive here, and this is what's on it. And I only have this single video file. I had formatted it from before, and I had to uh, use a dashboard cam to record something in the car, and that was about it. So what I'm going to do here is just close, and I'm going to say OK on this drive. I'm going to hit um, next and here it says checkbox what is this check this box to if previous scans have failed to find your files so I'm just going to do this since this is the first scan and the secondary scan with that check mark would have recovered only um, would have only shown there's a deep scan and a normal scan so this first pass is the normal scan and as you can see there is only one video file on there but notice i delete one so actually i had two video files and notice it says it says it has um, no overwritten clusters detected 
and notice these are two separate video files and notice it identifies that they are in excellent condition all right so it has shown me here that i can actually recover a secondary file i think this is the file that's currently on the drive let me just verify that all right so let's verify which um, file is on the drive notice there's only one file and this one is a 184 megabyte file and its name is 2020 and it ends in 002a so let's see if this one is here it will also detect files that are on the drive it's 002a 2020 002a let me just verify again notice it's 002a all right so these are two separate files that are not on this um on this device so if i wanted to right now i could go ahead and select this one and i could just hit um recover all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hit recover and notice it's asking me where i want to place the file and this is why i recommend that you use an external drive you do not want to recover to the same drive so it's always best to place another file so I'm going to place a file here and I'm going to call this file recover. All right, so there you go. I did um, recover and I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to search for the recover file. Here you go. And I'm going to tell it to place it here notice it's doing its thing and of course the process is going to go through notice the recovery is quite snappy all right all right notice it says now um, it recovers one file and it did a advanced file recovery automatic updates virtual hard drive support premium support and this is just for the um updated version of the software the free version is just fine wait okay and of course here we go we're here and this is the file that was recovered Here we go. And there you go. The file is now fully recovered. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the advanced scan in case the initial scan didn't find anything. So, of course, that's the file from the recovered. I'm going to go back here. And, of course, I'm just going to um, close the wizard out. I'm going to relaunch. I might skip sections of this in the, for time saving purposes. Alright, so I'm just going to run back through. The wizard is best as usual. As I told you, you can use the advanced mode. Not necessary though. So I'm going to hit next this time. All files. I'm going to go, I'm not sure. Oh, nope, sorry. I mean, um, I use about the same drive. Which is drive um, D, I think. Alright, so a second time is always recommended. In case you didn't find anything the first time. Enable deep scan. All right, now that we have um, enabled deep scan, which is the second run, but this time it will be more vigilant in trying to find files, especially if they are well deleted. And also, if you have used the drive, like um, formatted it, and then overwritten it by adding stuff onto it, it's harder to recover. So that's why I recommended earlier that if you have a drive that's um, that has been um, something has been deleted, do not add anything new to it. Do not mess with the drive until you try to recover. Go ahead and hit start. Notice this time this process will take a much longer time. It will do a much deeper scan and it will do several passes. So that's for the secondary um, scans. So make sure that you always try out the secondary scan in case the first one fails. I'm going to cut out sections of this as well. Alright guys, that last scan was going to take somewhere between 30 minutes to 1 hour. It had found 5 files, but however, I am not in the mood to wait all um, 30 minutes as I have to prepare this tutorial. 
But you do get the idea. So the first scan gives a basic scan. It will find files that are not deeply deleted. The secondary scan, which is the advanced one which I just showed last, will find more files. As you saw earlier, mine detected around five files. This one only found um, two deleted files, which is the basic scan. Now, um, just a quick um, reminder, guys. If you are going to use this software, make sure that you have time. Also, as I said, make sure that you use a external um, drive. So if you have a laptop that's needing uh, recovery, do try to attach it to this PC or another PC as an external um, hard drive. If not, uh, you can't avoid it. You can always recover directly from the drive itself, meaning I could try to scan files, recover files directly from this PC with just using this PC. All that's not recommended. Also, you'll see codes. Green usually means that the file can be recovered. Um, uh, red and other colors would mean that either you can only do a partial recovery or the files cannot be recovered any at all. I don't remember the codes right now, but the software does give you an idea of what the recovery, um, what level of recovery can be performed. So green is usually good, red is bad and so on. Yellow and those intermittent colors would mean that there's a less severe case and so on. So recover is a nice software. Um, if you do, if you are a more advanced user, you can always switch to advanced mode. I recommend that you do not use advanced mode. Um, here in advanced mode, you know, you can select um, the drives. You can find your drive, you can scan, and it will do the, just the same thing, except that with the wizard, it makes things much simpler, all right? So as usual, guys, this is Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips, showing you a cool software that's called um, Recover, that allows you to recover deleted files. And by deleted files, I mean truly deleted files on flash drives, uh, memory cards and so on, even on your um, PC's hard drive, it can recover files. All right, Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips, saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.